Hello my fellow lifeforms and welcome back. So I've shown you the connection between the Egyptian royal cubit and the meter using sacred geometry. Make a one meter wide seat of life that naturally divides itself into six equal sections. One sixth of the circumference of that circle gives us the Egyptian royal cubit, which is quite the coincidence. But there's another crazy coincidence when it comes to the meter and the Egyptian royal cubit. If we create a one meter long pendulum swung at 30 degrees, the distance that pendulum travels equals one second. One, two, three, four. And this is what was used in the late 1700s in grandfather clocks to determine a second and also defined the very first meter before it was measured from the planet. The curious thing about this whole setup is that the distance, the arc that the pendulum travels equals an Egyptian royal cubit. 30 degrees also shows up a lot as well. The Great Pyramid is located 29.9792 degrees north from the equator of the planet, which is really, really close to 30 degrees, but the distance of the length of two sides of the Great Pyramid's base equals how much the planet rotates in one second. So the Egyptian royal cubit relates to a second, but also the Great Pyramid. I guess it's just a coincidence.